Hi, and welcome to Mark on Sailing. I'm Mark. And I'm Mark. And today, Mark is going to talk about course calculations. He's going to show you the difference between your true course over ground and the course your compass shows you. This episode is going to contain a few calculations as well as a bit of easy math. So keep that in mind going forth. And without further ado, handing off to you, Mark. We need cost calculations because we have charted courses in the chart which are normal to the geographic position and we have our navigational aids on board. Normally for the course we have a magnetic compass. Now we have several problems as we discussed in the other video which apply to a magnetic compass like the deviation, the magnetic variation and so on and so on and so on. And for this we need a compass calculation. So for example the first scenario is we are steering a certain course on our magnetic compass with our boat let's say for example 162 degrees on our compass to the magnetic compass north. Now we have the problem that our ship has several parts made of metal which are like a small magnet and this magnet deviate the course of our compass and so we have a magnetic deviation which we have to know which we have in our magnetic deviation table which we will show you in the other video and now we go into this table and see that the magnetic deviation at the course of 162 degrees this is always important it depends on the course which is now leading on your magnetic compass is plus two degrees, which means two degrees to the east. Then you can calculate your magnetic compass. You simply add t plus two, then you have 164 degrees. Now we come to the magnetic variation, which is the difference between the geographic North Pole and the magnetic North Pole, which is somewhere in Northern Canada. This magnetic variation we take out of this course circles. Here we have certain numbers. We have measured four degrees deviation to the west in the year 2000. And then the in brackets nine, min, nine minutes to the east each year. So the magnetic north pole is switching sides a little bit and this is why every year this thing changes. Now we have the year 2018 so we take 18 times 9 minutes and add it to the 4 minutes, four degrees to the west. 60 minutes are 1 degree to the east, to the opposite side. So we have 4 degrees to the west minus 9 times 18 to the east. This is, if you calculate it, so here we have the magnetic variation is 4 degrees west in 2000 and now we have 2018. This is why we have 9 degrees to the east each year times 18 is 72. So we have 162 minutes to the east divided by 60 is 2 degrees which is 120 minutes and 42 minutes to the east but we don't work here with degrees and minutes we work with simple degrees and decimal degrees and 42 is in decimal degrees divided through 62 degrees 2.7 2.7 degrees to the east for 2000 to 2018 and we have 4 degrees to the west in 2000. So what we do now is we take the 4 degrees to the west minus the 2.7 
to the east and this is therefore 1.3 degrees still to the west. And west is always minus here and east is plus. So we have minus 1.3 degrees. We add this minus 1.3 so we have 162.7 degrees of true course. The true course which we said in our last video is the direction your bow is pointing. But now we have again the problem that our boat might not move exactly like this but may have some deviation through the wind which means it's moving a little bit like this. So our course through the water is not this direction but this direction. And this we have to add here for the leeway angle. This leeway angle you have to estimate according to your ship. We will show you in the next video some procedure how to calculate even this leeway angle. So for example for a no normal sailing boat uh, we have 5 degrees of leeway angle of course to the opposite side to the wind. That's why we call it the leeway angle. So we have uh, 5 degrees plus 5 degrees. Now the course through the water is 167.7 degrees. And now the drift angle for the current, if there is some current which is in the English channel, which is our chart here, is li very likely. That means the ship also is deviated by the current somewhere in this direction or in this direction. That's why we have a drift angle. That's for example minus 3 degrees and that's why we have in the end course over ground 164.7 degrees. In the end we know that we steer a course on the magnetic compass of 162 degrees but in reality we move over the ground with a course of 164.7 degrees. Now what you do is you always plot the course over ground. This is our chart course. This one we plot on our position. And that's exactly what Mark's going to show you in the next lesson. Thanks for watching and as always, fair winds to you.